Have you ever walked through an old town, looked at a historic building, or even glanced at a suburban house and wondered, why are so many bricks red? From colonial buildings in the U.S. to ancient Roman structures, red bricks seem to be everywhere. It's such a common sight that we often don't even think about it, but there's actually a fascinating blend of science, history, and practicality behind why bricks are typically red. Let's dive into the surprising reasons behind this everyday architectural feature, right here on History of Simple Things. To start, we need to go back to the basic ingredient of bricks, clay. Bricks have been used by humans for thousands of years, and one of the main reasons for their widespread use is the availability of clay. Clay is a fine-grained natural soil material that becomes moldable when wet and hardens when fired. Now, the key to understanding the red color lies in the chemical makeup of the clay itself. Most natural clay contains a significant amount of iron oxide, more commonly known as rust. When clay bricks are fired in a kiln, this iron oxide reacts with oxygen at high temperatures, typically over 900 degrees Celsius or 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit. This chemical reaction turns the iron compounds in the clay into hematite, which has a deep red color. So in many parts of the world, when local clays are used to make bricks, they naturally take on that familiar red hue after firing. Of course, not all bricks are red, and not all clays contain the same levels of iron. But in many regions, especially in Europe, the Americas, and parts of Asia, the local soil is rich in iron-bearing minerals. Because brickmakers historically used what was locally available, red bricks became the norm in these areas simply because of the natural properties of the clay. It was cheap, accessible, and produced a strong, durable brick with a warm red color that also aged nicely over time. In contrast, regions with clays low in iron or high in lime would produce bricks in different shades, yellows, creams, browns, and even white. So in a way, the color of bricks is a kind of fingerprint revealing the geological identity of the place where they were made. But the story doesn't end with chemistry alone. The red brick also gained cultural and architectural significance over time. During the Industrial Revolution, brick making transitioned from a manual craft to an industrial process. As machines took over and large kilns were introduced, the production of bricks became faster and more uniform. Red bricks, because of their iron-rich nature, were not only easier to produce in bulk, but were also stronger and more resistant to weathering. This made them ideal for the construction of factories, warehouses, and housing for the growing urban population. Red bricks became a symbol of progress, durability, and even cleanliness, replacing timber and mud structures that were more vulnerable to fire and decay. They also became visually associated with industrial strength. Think of the red brick factories and train stations of 19th century Britain and America. There's also a psychological element to red bricks. The color red has always been eye-catching and bold. It stands out while still feeling earthy and grounded. Red bricks lend a sense of warmth and permanence to buildings. In fact, many architects and city planners over the years have intentionally chosen red bricks for aesthetic reasons. The uniform rich color helps create a sense of harmony across neighborhoods and city blocks. Especially in places with cooler climates, the red tone provides a subtle visual warmth that balances the often gray skies. In some cases, red bricks were even preferred because they didn't show soot and dirt as readily as lighter colored bricks, keeping buildings looking clean for longer periods. Interestingly, as construction technology evolved, 
so did brick manufacturing. Today, bricks can be made in almost any color by using different types of clay, applying surface coatings, or mixing in pigments during the production process. Yet despite these modern options, red bricks have remained a dominant choice, partly because of tradition and partly because of consumer expectations. When people think of a brick house, they often imagine a red one. It's a deeply ingrained visual in our cultural consciousness, reinforced by generations of architecture, art, and even children's stories. Remember the tale of the three little pigs? The house that withstood the wolf's huffing and puffing was, of course, made of brick and likely imagined to be red. Another reason red bricks became widespread has to do with fire. In the 1600s and 1700s, many cities experienced devastating fires that wiped out entire neighborhoods made of wood. Afterward, regulations in some cities required new buildings to be constructed using fire-resistant materials like brick. Since the red iron-rich bricks were not only tough but also more readily available in many places, they were the logical choice. Over time, this gave red bricks a kind of prestige. They were not just functional, but also safer and more dependable. You can see this legacy in places like London, Boston, and Philadelphia, where whole districts of historic red brick buildings still stand today, echoing a time when the color red became a symbol of urban resilience. And let's not forget the role of economics. Even though colored or custom-finished bricks are available today, red bricks are often still the most affordable option. This is especially true in regions where iron-rich clay remains abundant. Mass production further reduces the cost, making red bricks a cost-effective material for everything from schools and government buildings to homes and garden walls. For developers and builders, it's a no-brainer. Why fix what isn't broken? In the end, the reason bricks are usually red is a fascinating blend of natural science, local geography, historical necessity, and cultural tradition. It's one of those details that hides in plain sight, something so common that we rarely stop to ask why it looks the way it does. But once you dig into the story, you start to see bricks not just as building blocks, but as time capsules, shaped by the land, the needs of the people, and the march of history. So the next time you pass by a red brick building, take a moment to appreciate the color. It's not just red, it's the color of chemistry, progress, and a whole lot of human ingenuity baked into every block. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.